Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus from the 16th to the 22nd of March 2020. I hope you are Leo. So I'm using the Druid Tarot deck, another of my favourite decks. Felt drawn to them for the weekly readings, so I'm going to use them. Not the easiest deck to shuffle and I don't particularly like shuffling the other way. <laughs> So let's see what we have for Leo, please, Angel Spirits Guides. What is the message for Leo for the week? Okay. We have the Page of Wands, Leo. Good news. This is the Page of Wands or Princess of Wands. Good news. Good news might be coming your way. Now the pages are the messengers, so there could be a message to do with an opportunity even. Could be connected to something that you're passionate about, can link with in terms of career and business in particular. There is the beginnings of growth here. This is about taking action. Sometimes it can be a new direction, a new beginning, the beginnings of change in your situation. The ones represent the beginnings of growth. Um, the page of wands, uh, the beginnings of something that if you put your effort and take action towards a situation, this is the beginnings of change. But it can absolutely be good news for some of you. So, yeah, lovely. Okay, Angel Spirits Guides, what is the message for Leo, please? 16th to the 22nd, two men, oh, okay, there's three cards here, let's just go with it. We have abundance. Uh, so the, the intention here is, goddess of abundance, divine, let me thrive, let fortune be mine. But there is abundance here. Like I said, can be linked with some news coming your way, some kind of communication. Could be to do with an opportunity but it is also the beginnings of growth when you take action, Leo. Really poignant message that. Uh, we have authenticity, oh my goodness, authenticity. <laughs> this is aligning with your true self and not apologizing for it. You know, being who you are and owning who you are and using the natural skills, abilities that come to you to really bring abundance and also success <laughs> into your life. Um, who I truly am is good indeed. I am authentic in thought, word and deed. Yeah. It might well be some of you have some creative idea. You're feeling inspired this week to take action towards a particular route. Okay. Let's just put those there. This three did fall out. And you know, Leo, we've got success here. The affirmation is success that's true belongs to me. Success with honor, integrity. And that links with the authentic authenticity. Um, the fact that you have the ability within you to bring success. You know, the one's energy is fire energy. It's your energy. It is to do with your own internal power. Um, your potential, the recognition of your potential when you take action. So there is something, new growth here, the beginnings of change. I feel it is to do with your money and career front in particular, Leo. There could be some good news coming into you or something begins to just change. You may suddenly feel inspired to take a particular route towards something. Okay. So angels, what is the message for Leo, please? Our lovely Leos. Sixteenth to the twenty second of March, twenty twenty. Yeah, it might well be that some of you may have to reconsider your path, but I do feel that you'll be certainly getting um, inspired in the steps that you need to take now. Sometimes we have to look at things twice, allow ourselves to take a fresh look, 
look at things from a different perspective like i said there could be a new route opening up to you and we have recovery leo some of you may have been through a difficult time could be in terms of recovery could be in terms of money and career but this is saying that you are recovering um in order in order to take action bring positive change in abundance success align with who you truly are be open to every opportunity i will say that because that reconsider is sometimes when we turn down opportunities or um a route because it doesn't tie in with our original pattern of thinking so there could be a bit of reconsider take a fresh look at something this week to do with money and career in particular okay so as usual leo i pull five cards the past the present your challenge advice from spirit and outcome let's start with the past position what do we have angel spirits guides past position for leo we have the three of cups Your present position, Leo. There you go. There's the Eight of Wands. Beautiful. Your challenge. The Knight of Swords. There's that clear thinking to get direction. Advice from Spirit. We have the Five of Swords. And the outcome. Yeah. Your fellow Aries fire sign showing up here. We have the Queen of Wands. Okay. Can we clarify the cards on the deck, please, Angel Spirits Guides? For Leo, 16th to the 22nd of March. 2020. What is the message for Leo, please? Starting with the Three of Cups in the past position. Not too many. Too many. <laughs> About six cards there. There's too many. What is the message, please, for Leo? I'm just going to take the one that's fallen down. We've got, yeah, we have the King of Pentacles. I'm going to clarify that, Leo. Yeah. Three of Wands. Beautiful. Your present position, Leo. Clarifying the Eight of Wands. We have the Ten of Swords. The Knight of Swords. We have the Page of Cups as your challenge. Wow, we have the Seven of Swords. This is the advice from Spirit. And the outcome, Leo, the Queen of Wands. We are, we have, I should say, the Nine of Wands. Capricorn Energy, the Queen of Pentacles. It's bottom of the deck. You know, Leo, past position. I said, you know, sometimes the Three of Cups can be a card of closure. It can sometimes be where you're allowing yourself to move on from a situation emotionally as well. It is a card of beginning to reap the rewards. It is a card of celebration, a level of achievement. The along with the three of wands this is somebody who has put in their effort to bring growth to their situation there's a level here between these two messages beginning to reap the rewards for your efforts now that could be in the form of an opportunity being offered to you in terms of money and career bonuses promotions uh, good news in terms of financial loans mortgages investments it can also be 
taking the first steps towards success this is almost kind of like the king of pentacles is your long-term goal what you're working towards in in terms of success i feel for some of you certainly with the king and queen of pentacles being here there is a level of success that you're working on to achieve uh, in the money and career front in particular the king and queen of, of pentacles can be sometimes a, a family business it can be relationships at work as well but this is the couple and um, if it is a couple if you are going into business as a couple there you are this is your ships beginning to come in they're not there yet but you have a goal to work towards the king of pentacles and it is about knowing your worth it might well be close yourself off to the old because this person is turning their back on what's gone they are refocusing on what's going forward we also feel sometimes this can be a level of success getting a small level of success beginning to see something happening by the actions that you're taking there is real growth here there could also be an opportunity offered and an event to some of you uh, a networking event we have the page of ones here so like I said there could be some good news coming from conversations that you might have already had some of you might be pitching for new business from somebody as well the king of pentacles queen of pentacles they can be business people whatever this is this is your ships are beginning to come in you can see the work that you're doing is beginning has the potential to bring reward and growth The eight of wands is keep taking action because you are going to bring positive change. Again, the, the page of wands or the princess of wands is, is good news, can be news of an opportunity coming your way, more than one opportunity potentially. This is when you take action. Conversations may lead to solid opportunities. This can also be the effort that you're putting into something will bring a big shift of positive change. This can be about embracing the new, embracing change. Uh, take a taking action is bringing change could be to do with some conversation that you might be having and you're changing from this the ten of swords this can be a really deep difficult hurtful energy you may have been hurt by someone's actions or someone's words but this is saying that there is a new day dawning pushing away the darkness from within and if you take action you will change something that was very negative towards something that is very positive there is new growth here sometimes this represents travel could be for an opportunity could be for this uh, an opportunity could be for business um, but I feel for some of you you are absolutely with these cards on the table you are moving on from a difficult situation and refocusing on your path Page of Cups is about trusting your inner intuition. Allow yourself to be guided by your instincts. The Knight of Swords, center with the Page of Cups. Allow your instincts to give you direction. Let, be, let, let it guide you in terms of how you take action. Get clarity in your external environment. This is all about getting direction on, on what will bring you advancement, what will bring you progress to your money and career front in particular. Because the Knight of Swords is a kind of eyes on the prize energy. He is a big shift and um, things becoming clear. Now, with there being a reconsidering card here, um, I just feel for some of you, it is allowing yourself don't just go so quickly towards one direction that you miss other opportunities. I feel this is about feeling your way through a situation in order to bring real advancement into your life, an opportunity maybe. So it's really about opening your mind. Sometimes the night can be extremely tunnel vision and they miss so much so many things by going so quickly so this can be a real fast energy but the knights still have learning to do they're not kings or queens 
So I feel for some of you, this is about feeling your way through a situation, considering the whole aspect of your situation, the whole um, opportunity that's an offer to you, because with the Eight of Wands, there may well be more than one route to success. Um, then there will be more opportunity opened up to you. But this person may miss it. So I'm just saying feel your way through a situation. Don't suddenly discount something. Really consider every opportunity. Because there is real advancement here with the Eight of Wands. Um, swift advancement. Unexpected opportunity with the Page of Cups and the Eight of Wands as well. We've had, have we had this before for you, Leo? Uh, a feeling of the unexpected coming to you? Yeah, don't you, but at this speed, you may well just miss it. So ju I'm just saying, be mindful of that. Don't go so fast down a route that you may miss other opportunities, people, connections, conversations. Advice from spirit is, yeah, don't be distracted. I feel this is a distracting energy. Sometimes this can talk about inner negative thinking. Sometimes this can be other people in our lives that we may argue with, we have negative, negative energy with, um, that can distract us, distract our minds from really seeing, you know, the path forward here. And I just feel this is about don't let yourself be your mind or somebody in your external world pull you off track. We do have the Queen of Pentacles here, which is about focusing on the path ahead. Don't deviate. She is a big message of focus on the path ahead. And there's a big message here of don't self-sabotage. Uh, don't hold yourself back. You know, I'm feeling that with the Nine of Wands as well. Uh, that can be where you can hold yourself back and you are so close to achievement, to success. So that's kind of what I'm feeling with these energies. Um, sometimes, like I said, this can be about conflict. You've been through a conflicting situation. Sometimes this can be about deception in your external world. Could be linked to this Ten of Swords. But I kind of feel by now, it's more these internal energies that you need to overcome because it's the advice from spirit. And it's the internal energy here. This is the moon in Sagittarius. You see how your fellow fire signs, you know, the fire signs support each other. Um, you know, the Nine of Wands is you're so close to achievement and you don't see it. You know, there's that deceptive quality of the moon energy in this card where you just don't see how close you are. This is about perseverance. Keep taking action because there's just one more step to go towards completion, achievement, and um, success with the Nine of Wands. It has been a difficult journey. This is the Wounded Warrior. But you are absolutely so close to success. And the Queen of Wands is success. Um, she's a symbol of power and success, somebody who is in her power, somebody who understands how to use her internal power in an external world to bring success into her life. You know, she is very much aligned to that wand energy. She has the passion. She understands her potential. She understands how to use her power. And she does it by trusting her instincts, water and fire. She trusts her instincts to fuel her action, to find progress, to succeed in her external environment. So this is an instinctive time for some of you, certainly with the Page of Cups, because there is success on offer for you and you're being told to be in your power, take action. But do it in an instinctive, calculated way um, with the Queen of Wands, because it's almost between these two cards, success is absolutely within your grasp. Now, certainly with the Queen of Wands, the Queen of, of Pentacles, even the King of Pentacles. So we have Taurus, we have Capricorn, we have Aries. Um, there's Gemini with the Knight of Swords. This is absolutely um, somebody who could be offering you an opportunity, Leo. You know, that's what these cards can mean too. Maybe more than one. You know, we have Pentacles and we've got Wands energy. The work energies though, so there's a big message of to bring growth into your life, put in the effort, do the hard work, the practical things. Because there is monetary success here, there is career success here, you know, the, the Queen of Pentacles is absolutely maybe recovering in terms of a financial situation or career-wise. 
she is absolutely about staying on track no one deviates she doesn't allow anyone to distract her do you see how focused she is in that card how she focuses on that pentacle she focuses on the task in hand she doesn't look in any other direction and I feel for some of you, you see how this person is, is, is almost kind of like looking and looking back. This person is also looking back. You know, this Knight of Wands doesn't have the confident expression on his face. You know, there is a, a feeling of needing to really focus here, Leo, because there is success and um, good news in terms of finances, loans, mortgages. She can link to business uh, business ventures beginning to grow from the hard work that you've been doing. She can represent, um, she can also represent, I mean, if you are a single parent as well, you know, and you have been looking to advance yourself in terms of money and career, she's a very good sign of that as well. Um, family business with a king and queen of pentacles partnership all of this kind of thing there is real success this is somebody who understands how to use her practical abilities knowledge experience to really channel them and bring success into her life she is absolutely water and earth somebody who understands you know when you, you combine water and earth things begin to grow she understands how to make something grow there's a self-sustaining energy with her and that's why you're being told to be your authentic self because you have the skills, the experience, the knowledge to bring real growth into your life in your own right. So, beautiful foundational energy with the Queen of Pentacles. I'm going to pull a fairy card to finish off the reading. What is the message for Leo, please, Angel Spirits Guides? What is the message for Leo? Card of Solitude came out. Think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times. And I certainly feel for some of you, there is recovery, there is reconsider energy here there is connection to your authentic self in order to bring abundance and success. I certainly feel that this is about maybe taking that time out to find that inspiration. That will be the beginning of change for some of you because yeah I just feel that ties in very nicely with that page of wands. I'm going to pull one more card Leo. We have purity, always trust the purity of your heart, look inside your heart and within it you will find the answer to your question. Yeah, the answers are within Leo, absolutely. Um, there's a, a real instinctive energy with the Queens, um, with their Page of Cups, with the Knight of Wands, you know, this is real instinctive energy. But there is absolute change here that is leading towards something better ahead for some of you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.